Hi, I'm Sophia Mejia, and I'm part of the family engagement team for Yes Our Kids Can. Today, we're going to read I Want to Grow Up, illustrated by Justin Dial. One bright morning, David practiced his karate kicks in the yard. He kicked and he kicked, but try as he might, he just could not get it right. David picked up Gabriel's guitar. He strummed and he strummed, but try as he might, he just could not get it right. How is it that my older brother Gabriel can do a karate kick and play the guitar so easily, wondered David. What's wrong, David, asked Mom. I can't do anything right, mumbled David. What do you mean, asked Dad, putting down his newspaper. Have you ever felt like that, when you can't do anything right? I can't do the super karate kick or play the guitar, said David glumly. Do you think it's because I'm a little kid? I sure wish I was all grown up already. Mom and Dad laughed. Why are you laughing, demanded David. Because Gabriel had a really hard time learning karate when he was your age too, said Dad. Dad, do you remember when Gabriel was learning to play the guitar? asked Mom with a chuckle. Oh, I remember it very well, Dad responded as he smiled. He used to get so mad because it all just sounded like a bunch of noise. That's right. Gabriel had to keep practicing until he got it right, said Mom. David, being a kid is great, said Dad. You just need to keep practicing. Remember, practice makes progress. With a little determination, well, you can do just about anything, said Mom. Anything? pondered David, not fully convinced as he walked with Gabriel to school. What's wrong? asked Gabriel. I just want to grow up already so I can do more things, like the karate kick or play the guitar. I feel like I can't do anything, replied David, feeling sad. Sounds like David's really frustrated. Let's see what happens next. But being grown up also means you'll have more responsibilities, said Gabriel. Don't worry so much, little brother, and enjoy being a kid. We can practice together every day if you'd like. For now, cheer up, it's Children's Day, and time to meet up with our friends at the festival. David and Gabriel ran to meet their friends, Leonardo and Yolanda. The school courtyard was overflowing with happy kids. Balloons and streamers hung everywhere. There was even a huge piñata swinging from a tree. Wow, what is all of this? asked David. It's the Children's Day Festival, answered Yolanda. Children's Day? David asked, feeling a little confused. Yes, said Leonardo. We have our own day to celebrate being a kid. This is the time to play with our friends, read books, learn new things, and explore what we want to be when we grow up. It's awesome. Children's Day is celebrated on April 30th of every year. Can you believe it? said Yolanda. David perked up. After all, it was hard to be sad on a day like this. There was so much to do at the Children's Day Festival. The air was heavy with the smell of popcorn. Children were clapping as they watched a magician pull a bunny out of his hat. Meanwhile, David was distracted by a very colorful and fully decorated book stand. All of the books seemed so fascinating to him. He looked through the bookshelves and found many books about wonderful adventures. What if my parents were right? and I could do anything I set my mind to. David thought to himself. Suddenly, he saw himself climbing a great mountain, walking on the surface of Mars, hitting a home run out of a baseball stadium, flying a jet through the bright blue sky. The possibilities were endless. After school, he headed home with a big smile on his face. He zoomed around his room in his pilot's helmet and stomped through Mars in his astronaut boots. David thought of all the wonderful things he could do when he grew up. It's actually quite fun being a kid, thought David. For now, I think I'll just enjoy being me. The end. So you see, David learned a valuable lesson by the end of the story. He realized that being a grown up isn't a race. He's learning and growing every day, just like you. Thanks for reading with me. Families, you can get your own free books from Read Conmigo. Be sure to visit their website in the description below.